Welcome everybody. I'm here today to give, share with you my ultimate secret on how to cut up and enjoy a grapefruit that is the most fast, efficient, cleanest way to do it on the planet. And you won't find this anywhere else because I didn't learn this. I had to figure this out after years of practice because I absolutely love eating grapefruit. But it is such a pain in the neck to get the, the good fruit out of there without all this tough covering over here. So I'm going to give that to you. I'm going to just give you a demonstration real quick. You can watch it for those of you that just like the bottom line and get out of here. And then I'll go back and go over some details. So watch here. First step, real easy. Cut off the ends. Preserve your, your juice. This is just to make the pieces a little easier to eat. Oh, of course, make sure you wash your grapefruit thoroughly. Even if it's organic, you never know when it's been or who's handled it. So wash it thoroughly. Cut the grapefruit in half. Very simple. This is the part that's simple yet profound. We need to open up all these sections and get all the juice sacks available. So you're just going to make a little V just like so. And you're going to pull this part out. And you see there's still a little bit right there, the white part. That membrane is extremely bitter. This is what makes people not like grapefruit. So we're just going to set that aside. Last step, very simple. Cut into sections. There we go. Oops, yeah, we still got some membrane there. Let's just slice that off real easy. Get away from there. Now, if you have an extremely large grapefruit, you might want to take the section and just cut it again in half if you have like children that are eating it. But here it is. Now, here's the key to this. By cutting off that center section, we've opened up all the juice sections. So when you eat this, you don't take a bite out of it and take the whole thing. You just use your teeth to kind of squeeze those juice sacks and pull all the goodness out, but you're going to leave that endocarp, that membrane in there that's super bitter and nasty. So that took what, two seconds to do? Let's do the other side just to get it done, show you how quick it is. There we go. So you can have a grapefruit ready. This one's juicy. This is a ruby, Texas ruby red. There you go. So how long did that take to prepare a wonderful grapefruit to get on the go? Now, if you were cutting this in half and trying to cut all those sections out, you'd still be cutting away at it. Now I'm ready to go. So let's take a nice juicy piece. Now, does that look good or what? Get the ruby red type. Oh, it's so sweet. Mmm, 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 mmm. I wish we could do a taste of vision. So I don't want to be gross, but you can see I'm not biting into it and pulling it out. You got to use your teeth to squeeze that out. And that, my friend, is how you cut up and eat a grapefruit very quickly. Let's talk about why people don't like grapefruit. Like I said, number one is it's a pain in the neck to get the grapefruit out of there. Because if you look at a grapefruit, it looks like an orange, but it's much tougher to peel, of course, if you've ever tried. And then the covering over the sections, those little sections are called carpels. It's called the endocarp, and it's a membrane that's tough and extremely bitter. People hate it. So if you have any of that membrane in there, that endocarp, people won't eat it. Be sure you get a good grapefruit. People don't like grapefruit a lot because somebody handed them some yellow, old, underripe, nasty, bitter, sour piece of fruit, and they've tried it once, they hated it, they say, I don't, I don't know how people can eat these things. But these days, with all the great red hybrids coming out of Texas and California, awesome eats. Dark red usually means sweeter. So Rio red, the Texas ruby red, awesome, awesome stuff. Good for you, low glycemic in index, very healthy fruit, quick and easy to prepare. From now on, just hit the, the grapefruit heavily. All right, oh, I'll do this other side. And just again, you're just scooping out the area. You can see on the end, I'm just cutting around that white center there. And this is the key to this method. I wish I would figured this out years ago, and I've done searches. I've gone on the uh, Grapefruit Association websites. How do you break up a grapefruit? I've never seen this done. So I know I'm probably not the first evil genius in the whole world to figure this out, but since I've never seen it, I'm going to claim this is the Doc Pierce method of cutting up a grapefruit. And I'll tell you, Americans, we, we haven't developed our sour side of our taste buds, but most of the healthiest foods on earth have that sour taste. So if you can get used to eating a few of these, it's so healthy, your brain will change your taste buds and you'll like it even better. So start eating some grapefruit again and go for the Texas Ruby Red or the Rio Red. The reds are nice and sweet. And of course, if you have any questions, please subscribe to me, uh, the Pierce Wellness, I did it again, <laughs> Pierce Wellness Center. And we have a lot of other great videos on there and a lot more to come. So my name is Dr. Lee Pierce, and I'm here for your health. Cool. <laughs> you think it was too corny or what? <laughs> no, I liked it. Oh. I liked it. I liked it a lot. That was cool. Right.
So this is the way it's done. First cut off the ends, preserve as much of the juice as you can. And then you're just going to cut right through the center, like so. That's going to expose that endocarp, the nasty, bitter part of the grape that you don't want anything to do with. Just remove that. Slice through nice, easy, bite-sized portions. There you go.